The first suspect has been indicted on drug charges. The suspect was brought to the attention of police when an individual at a car dealership thought that they saw controlled substances in a vehicle. 38-year-old Robert William Romska of Redwood Court in Hickory was served a true bill of indictment by Hickory Police at about 1145 Monday morning on felony counts of possession of Schedule 1 controlled substance and possession of Schedule 2 controlled substance, as well as one misdemeanor count of possession of drug paraphernalia. Events leading to his arrest began in April of 2020 when an employee at an auto dealership on Highway 70 East in Hickory saw possible controlled substances in a vehicle and contacted Hickory police. Officers found 6.11 grams of methamphetamine and 0.48 grams of heroin. The warrants for Romska's arrest were issued in November of 2020. He was taken into custody without incident at the Hickory Police Department. No bond information was listed and he is not currently listed as an inmate in Catawba County. A superior court date is set for January 19th. 24-year-old Sarah Elizabeth Powell and 32-year-old Ryan Conrad Tetralt, both of Silver Street in Morganton, were arrested by Hickory Police at about 11 o'clock Tuesday night. Powell was charged with felony possession of Schedule 1 controlled substance and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. Tetralt was charged with resisting, delaying, or obstructing a public officer. In addition, both suspects were charged with misdemeanor larceny. They were arrested when Hickory police responded to the Walmart store on Highway 70 Southeast in Hickory, where loss prevention officers were holding both suspects for shoplifting. During the arrest, officers found 0.8 grams of heroin and drug paraphernalia. Tetralt initially gave officers a false name, resulting in the resisting charge. Both suspects were taken into custody without incident at the store. They were taken to the Catawba County Detention Facility in Newton with bond set at $1,000 secured for each suspect. Neither suspect remained in jail as of today. They were scheduled to appear in district court in Newton yesterday. Reporting from Hickory for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you.